Yeah. We, yeah, I just did yours, now it's theirs. There you are. Alec Baldwin is in court today with his lawyers for a pretrial hearing before his actual trial in the Rust case. Now, for those who don't know, this is a case whereby Alec Baldwin was on set as a producer and he held a gun. Unfortunately, it went off and one of the other staff on his film set sadly passed away. Now. Hannah Gutierrez, who was on the film set and was the armorer, has actually been convicted. And the question is whether Alec Baldwin will face the same fate or not. Now, his lawyers were actually making arguments in court today, stating that a lot of evidence should be excluded. Why are they doing that and why is it not done as part of trial? Because it will slow down the whole trial process. So in courts, what you typically have is preliminary hearings, applications on a lot of evidentiary issues so that the rules of the game are set before a single juror is seated and before the trial takes place, which obviously is the most effective way of doing things. The lawyers for Alec Baldwin, who are from New York, have come down to the New Mexico courtroom because that was where the sad or unfortunate incidents took place in New Mexico. And from my assessment of the case today, it does appear that the New York lawyers may face some problems during the trial relating to the jurors because they certainly come across as big city attorneys. If you look at some of the best lawyers in the world or in history, like Johnny Cochran, Tony Busby, Mark Lanier, etc., one gift they have is that they're able to relate to a jury, relate to people from varying backgrounds, and especially the folksy, uh, uh, down-to-earth, salt-of-the-earth individuals. Typically, city attorneys don't have that same ability. They're very good with, for example, the academic aspect of making an application in court, understanding the intricacies of law, but being able to relate to people who are not, for example, particularly educated, rich, or don't have a lot of financial success that is a skill that is a skill which few people have some people do many don't and these lawyers for Alec Baldwin who are from a, the famed law firm Quinn Emanuel may run into an issue in the New Mexico courtroom that's what I'm predicting just from seeing their demeanor in court because if you notice if you watch the hearing today, the prosecutors are incredibly relaxed and almost laid back in a sense. They show comfort in that courtroom setting. Obviously, because I'm sure that they've tried loads of cases in New Mexico and they're probably from there and are not having to deal with the added reality of going from one state to another state so that is my observation in the of the hearing so far it will be interesting to see how this case pans out make sure to like comment and subscribe